guys, it's Destiny Dude 97 and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Earthbound. In the last episode, uh, we finally beat that stupid uh, nightmare guy in the Mani Mani statue, and off camera, I did some major, major preparations. I got Jeffo up to level 68, because he's the only character close enough to doing so, and I equipped everybody with the Night Pendant. Uh, what the Night Pendant does is that um, it is, uh, it completely, you know, if something uses flash, then uh, when that flash occurs, uh, nothing will happen to you. It absorbs the light of the flash, I guess is what it, its description is. Also, I got some, I, I stocked up on a whole bunch of multi-bottle rockets. I'm keeping the shield killer because that's pretty useful. But yeah, keeping the multi-bottle rockets around will be very useful. Um, so in this episode, we're going to talk to our old buddies, uh, Dr. Andonuts and Apple Kid. So let's talk to Andonuts. Yaha! The Mr. Sergeants are incredible! And the Apple Kid, he is a most exceptional young man, very different from other kids. Well, anyway, the prototype phase distorter has been stolen. Someone resembling a pig wearing clothes took the Mr. Saturn captive and stole the device. Oh dang, that's not good. Excellent, excellent. Everything proceeded as planned. Dr. Ananas, Mr. Saturn, and I worked together and finally completed the phase disorder. The purpose of the device is to enable instantaneous travel through space and time. In this prototype, you can only travel to different points within the same time period. It is able, however, to search out the locations of the enemies. Right now, it is indicating the presence of the enemies in the Lost Underworld. So let's go in there and see what's going on. What? Uh, <laughs> it doesn't work. One thing is missing. But that one material cannot normally be found on Earth. The material I'm thinking of came from a meteorite. It fell when I was much younger. I've seen a meteorite many more recently. The beginning of the game. Eureka! That's it! With even just a piece of the meteorite, I can synthesize the material in sexoid. I doubt that your mortal enemy Gaius, or whatever, will allow you to go to Monet and get a piece of the meteorite. By now, one that is in his evil hands. You must go, though, so take every possible precaution. The Mr. Saturns have introduced some of their new developments at their shop. Please check them out before you leave. I wonder what one is like at this point in time. Yeah, I'm a little worried about this part. You'll see why in a little bit. Let's talk to this guy. I'm not sure what will happen, but I sense big time trouble ahead for you. I'm gonna stay here for a while and help Mr. Saturn. It's important for a man to enjoy doing his duty. Okay, uh, oh gosh, I'm not ready for this. Okay, let's go to one end. If I'm not too close to these rocks. And if you're not good. Oh gosh. What the heck? It's all ominous and creepy here. Yeah, all the doors are locked. So, but there is one place we can go to, and that's where we're in. But oh man, this place is so dangerous right now. I am so unprepared for this. I'm gonna end up actually needing to do some level grinding here, come now that I think about it. Yeah, this is our last leg of the, this is the last stretch of the race, pretty much, of the game. This is the last, this is the final moment. It's all dark in our house. Let's talk to King. At this point, you guys are ju you guys just might be the strongest force in the world, don't you think? Yeah, well, we're the only ones fighting all these guys. Oh, Jacob, you finally showed up. There are plenty of creepy monsters running around Wynette now. The townspeople are barricaded in their homes, afraid to go out. I'm fine, but I am a bit scared. Everything will be okay if we just sit here quietly in the dark. Are you hungry? Do you want to eat some tacos? And, uh, so I will be coming here into level grind often. Are you more relaxed? Okay. Yeah, uh, there are enemies here that are really annoying. I might as well save since I'm here. But, uh... I don't know what level all the other characters were at this point when I was playing the game in my last save file. All I know is that I'm a little... Uh, above par when it comes to... Mrs. Level Up. Yep, you see? We've got some new enemies here. Let's see, what are we facing? What are we facing? Okay, evil eye and its cohorts. Now we're gonna really want to get rid of the evil eye, so... Dang it. 
thing, I should have actually done research on these guys. Well, let's see if this will do anything. PK Star Storm! Nah, I'm not gonna use that storm. But yeah, I wanna get rid of that evil eye as soon as possible. Good. Okay, and now there's a ghost of Star because we already defeated all the main Star so. Yeah, we know Star Storm. Oh man, Jeffo's dead. See how difficult this place has gotten. Yeah. That's why I was a bit worried to do this part. I am clearly under leveled. Alright, yeah, let's heal up. Alright, there we go. Yay for fast forwarding! <laughs> Cheating. Who's the one who just level up? Okay, I'm really sorry for the lack of commentary, but it's just this part of the game, I swear. 88, level 69, level 68, level 67. Okay, so Parker just leveled up. Tread carefully. What have we got here? So, I'll attack the Ghost of Starman. And... I'll PK freeze the Star Ghost of Starman. Alright, now please kill the evil eye. Thank you. And I'll have everyone else focus on killing the Ghost of Starman. I don't want to use Star Storm, because Star Storm is supposed to be reserved for, you know, later on in the game once the going gets tough. Alright, Ayla leveled up. Might as well level... Uh, might as well level... Blah, blah, blah. Might as well uh, heal up and save since we got her to level up. Because I want everybody to be pretty decently leveled up for this part of the game, so... Uh, yeah, sorry there's gonna be a lot of this in the episode, it's gonna be- I'm sorry, this is gonna be a very boring episode. No exciting boss battles for you this time. But you will probably get to see me fail often. What we've gotta do, uh, if you guys haven't picked up on it, is we've gotta climb up that mountain where the meteorite fell way earlier in the game. Alright, what's the damage here? That guy. He can freeze this guy. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I'm sorry. I am totally, you know, not commentating at all today. It's just. I'm so focused in this episode. I. It's hard for me to commentate when I'm so just, you know, in the zone. Alright. Got a couple of mechs here again. Let's see what these are. Same as before. PK freeze this guy. Eh, yeah, not bad. Could have done more. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, Parker felt a little strange. Who cares about what Parker feels? Yeah, sorry, Parker, if you're alive. <laughs> He doesn't know where to go. He's confused. 
I could have made another joke, but that wouldn't have been as nice. Alright. Yeah, not much to say. We're climbing a mountain. What else is there a comment about? Alright. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna use this. Okay. Ooh, super bomb. Can I have this? Or the super bomb. brother and I watched Final Fantasy Happy Children last night, and the complete version is way better than the original, in my opinion. Alright, he's level 69 now, sweet. Alright, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, what's your guys' favorite villain? Anything really. Like, maybe video games, superhero villains. I don't know. My favorite villain is Kefka from Final Fantasy VI. Evil clown who likes to kill people for fun. Sounds like the Joker from Batman, doesn't he? <laughs> uh, man, this is nervous talking pretty much. Get over here. Get over here. Okay, another ghost of Starman. Um. Not too big a deal. I don't know, I'm worried. I'm always paranoid in, the, in this game. Just so people didn't notice. Sweet. 89, oh wow. I'm almost level 90? Holy crud, man. I don't feel Halo, because she seems to be having a bit of trouble. So many enemies on screen! Aw, oh, dang it! Aw, oh, damn it, Vegeta. Alright, there we go. I'll freeze... Starman, because Starman is way more annoying. I don't know, I kind of call it Octobot. I call him Octobot, but he only got four legs. Or... Uh... Oh! I didn't mean to use Omega. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, if you guys uh, pay attention to this theme, it's actually Pokey's theme song. It's like, like you listen to the melody, it's like Pokey's theme in a different key. It's interesting. Alright, Parker is level 68, alright. Okay. I'm not gonna say anything because I do not want to jinx this. This is one of the most difficult parts for me in the game. Not even the final dungeon is this difficult for me. Okay, not final dungeon. Whatever you call it in Earthbound talk. Uh, final location of the game. I don't know. I think Final Fantasy or Legend of Zelda too much. Because those were the games I was raised by, or I was raised playing. Super Mario Brothers, The Legend of Zelda, Final Fantasy. Those were the three games I played my entire childhood. And then I was introduced to Earthbound by Super Smash Brothers. He won't let us in because he's too free. Alright, we arrived at the meeting. There's something shiny we can reach. Do you want to try and get it? Yes. And with that, we get the Zexalite. The meteorite piece. Now we gotta find a good place to use to open the field. Now we wanna head back to Saturn Valley. Please work, please work, please work. Oh, thank you. Because I can never, when I play this game, and I get to one edge every time, I can never find a good teleporting spot, and I always run into something. Then I have to walk all the way down to uh, Jacob's house, heal up, and then find some area where I can use teleport. Alright, so yeah, let's save up. Or save up. <laughs> Okay, let's heal, save, and get lots of cash, have our dad tell us how much we need to get to level up, and we'll talk to Dr. Ananuts about the whole experiment. 
This is the last episode on this planet, technically. Right. So let's give him his Eximite. Oh yes, this is fantastic. What? Well, I've never actually seen this incredibly rare element before. It is very intriguing. All right, leave everything to us, and you get some rest. This is getting most fascinating. All right, so now that was pretty much a prompt telling us to go spend the night at the inn, which we just did. So thanks for that, Doctor Andonuts. You're telling us to do something we already did. Eh, who needs to say? <laughs> Famous last words, right? Finally, it's complete. The phase distorter version 2 is equipped with two new features. First, it can repair your biological functions. Second, it can save your progress. Don't be afraid, get right in. There's just one thing though, you may not be able to return, so make sure you are optimi optimally outfitted. Are you ready to go? If you're not 100% perfectly, completely ready, well, you should be prepared. As, you should be as prepared as possible. It'll be for the best. Without careful preparation, you would be in big trouble. I just want to make sure you're ready. Let me know when your preparations are complete. Sucky apple kid. Excellent, excellent, everything. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He already says this. Let's check our status. We don't need any more super bombs, cause this is the end of the game. Let's go and save at the hotel. I can't sing this part on key. Da, 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 da. <laughs> ah, I'm so weird. Okay, yeah, I might as well save now. Uh, just to be on the careful side. And I'm just okay, that part was funny. One out was completely under attack, and our teacher takes the time to go to our house and say, Oh, your son is skipping school. But then she goes, Oh, um, yeah, he's sort of saving the world. Yeah, that's how it works. Alright. Good, at last, the time has come. Are you ready? Remember, the phase distorter, version 2, is equipped with two new features. First, it can pair your biological functions. Second, it can save your progress. Don't be afraid, get in, get right in. Alright, here we go. This is it. There's no turning back after this. And it takes us to that cave that we saw in the last Underworld a while back. Yeah, weird music. Hey, it's the uh, PK Starstorm guy. Greetings. So, you are finally here. Excellent. You are truly excellent. There is only little time left. I'll give you the last power. I must go now. Perfect. And we get PK Starstorm! Oh, man. Even Mr. Saturn. I kid that I was the one kidnapper bad guy. Bad guy gone. Zoom word two to the past. Ding ding. And there's some weird poetry. Okay, wait, where are we gonna go? Oh, okay, I guess we just Hey. The face of sword has been completed. We can finish it quickly because of Mr. Saturn's incredible scientific skill. Gygas is attacking from our exact location. He is attacking for many years in the past. It's very hard for me to tell you, but... You must war for the past and fight, but... It's very hard for me to tell you, but... Yeah, we were in his way. He's supposed to walk that way. In order to defeat Gygas, who is attacking from the past, he must war to the past. This can be done by the by way of the Phase Distorter 3. However, the machine cannot warp living things. I mean, life forms. Life is demolished in the process of warping. The only way to accomplish this time travel is to transfer your brain program into a robot and send the robot into the past. The transfer means your spirit will go with the robot while your body is left behind. I cannot promise that your spirit will come back in, after the battle of the past. Yet you must understand that four of you are the chosen ones. Do you still wish to face Gygas by traveling to the past? Of course. Hmm. You accept this, while well knowing that you may not be able to return to your current point form, right? Yes, I see. You have really set your mind on this. Let me take a good look at you now. Jacob, please give me that red cap. 
Ready, stand by. And now he's gonna give us brain surgery. Yeah. Didn't we hear that noise earlier in this game? I forgot where. It's been a while since I actually... Yeah. But this is it, guys. This is it. The end of the game. Can't believe it. We're almost done with this LP. I've never actually finished a Let's Play. I don't know if you've seen on if you've gone to older videos on my channel. I actually did Let's Plays. Like one time, I tried to do a Kingdom Hearts LP for a Chain of Memories for the Game Boy Advance, but that did not work out. Terrible commentary. And that was 2012. I didn't do commentary that well then. Jacob, Ella, Parker, Jeff, my son. There is no turning back now. Jacob, activate the Phase Distorter 3 by your own hand, thereby following your own destiny. Will you do so? Only few people know of your amazing courage. With the number of people you save, that bravery is through, that bravery is immense. I feel very fortunate to be present at the beginning of this monumental undertaking. And now we warp to the past. Onward to adventure. We're here. And now this place is some disturbing music. And yeah, see repair or communicate, so Jacob, it's your dad. Who is this? Jacob? Do you have a cold or something? Your voice sounds kinda of funny. Oh well, that's okay. Well nice experience to get to the next level. So anyways, let's save, and in the next episode of Let's Play Earthbound. Uh, we will continue through what is called the Cave of the Past with its disturbing music. I will see you guys then.